My favorite thing to do in the world is to eat. Eat, oh, eat, 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 What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Jessica and Christina show. Ah, uh, <laughs> supposed to be Reese, but Plug. we don't know him. Um, so we're doing a Korean grill, my take on it, mukbang. Yay! We're just gonna eat and hang out and try to talk really loud over the sizzle. Okay, so we're just gonna start throwing stuff on. Okay. And we're gonna eat it like immediately. You wanna just dump this? We can. Boom. Woo! Yeah. The, vegeta the vegetables take longer than the meat. <laughs> I'm going to grab a piece of the towel. Oh, I'm so excited. I am too. It already smells good. Thank I you for doing this. You're welcome. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't had this in forever. Really? Because I would make it all the time and Reese would get annoyed. But I'm tired of eating that. Do you want me to get a spatula or tongs or anything? Okay. Make her, I'm gonna make her work. It's all good. So typically, Korean grill would be on this like smoker thing and you eat it as you go. Like you just put a couple pieces of meat, it cooks and you eat it. Um, I'm too impatient for that. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm too impatient for that. We gotta cook it all together and then scarf it down. That's my style. Yeah, and I'm like, throw it in the microwave, cook it, let's eat it. Boom. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. You think about how long we ate food just from the microwave, like years. Did y'all, y'all have microwaves in prison, right? No. How'd you cook your food? In prison? Yes, in prison. I had, in New York, we had a microwave for one week and someone heated up water and threw it on a girl. We lost oh. the microwave. Then in Arkansas, women don't get microwaves, but men do. So we had these little like water spigots where the water would get really, really, really hot and we cooked in bags. You know what, in our prison too, the men got weights, like free weights, and we didn't. Oh. And that was like, come on. Like. We got a yoga pad and maybe a ball. Yeah. I turned it down because I was a little like. Turn it up, girl. I know, I just did a little bit, it's on, it's on 300. I'm gonna need to eat this now. I know. Let it go. Just let it ride out. Because I like it when it's kind of like crunchy a little bit because it cooks good. You too, yeah. So it is snowing and my baby boy got to see snow for the first time. That was really cool. He's so freaking cute. He's, He's a lot, girl. He called daddy and told his dad it's snowing. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> so cute. I can't even, I got a mess with it. So right now the Bud Light virus is all uh, the craze. You gotta use certain terms, I'm sure you guys know. YouTube is stupid. <laughs> yeah, it is. And so I have been completely hypnotized by all the videos. Jess keeps telling me to stop. My husband keeps telling me to stop. This morning, I woke up and I heard it before I got in the kitchen. I knew you were watching a coronavirus video. Like, you better not again, and I'm like, At oh, eight o'clock in the morning? Yeah. I'll turn that off. Have you ever eaten this kind of stuff before? Like no. this style before? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Oh, very good. I'm really excited. Get off of her. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. It's not working. Okay, so let's ask some questions. Okay. So, since this is the Jessica and Reese show, what, when you first saw Reese, were you like physically attracted to him? Like, dang, he's fine? Not really. <laughs> Really? Not really. Um, I just, I was so uninterested in a man. I wasn't looking at him like that. I thought he was okay looking, but I never thought like, ooh, I need to get me some of that, you yeah. know? Um, and the first thing I ever said to Reese was, can you put your arms down all the way? Because he has so muscular. He's got big arms. She's like, yes, kind of. And I'm like, we're going to be friends. Like I just knew right away we were going to be friends and we worked together. But I never in a million years thought I would date him or we would be together. Because I, I was trying to get my kid back, you guys. I did not care about a man. What about you, would you hear me? I was in, I've been attracted to him since high school. Oh. I always thought he was fine, baby. My thing was I didn't want, I didn't want a relationship or any kind of intimacy or anything either. But I was dang sure attracted to him. Oh. I was like, oh, he's fine. And then when I seen him for the first time after all those years, I was in the mall with my friends. I had come to the town that he lived in to visit my grandmother, and I lived like seven hours away. 
and we were texting so he knew I was there and so I'm standing in the food court and around the corner comes him and his friend and when I made eye contact with him, like my heart skipped a beat. I was like, oh! And then when, the way he was looking at me, it's just like, he's just such, and I love this about him, he's like that laid back, chill, confident type of guy. He's not yeah. like, yeah, I'm all that. Yes. He just kind of like walked up to me like this and he was like looking at me with them eyes and he just like reached out and gave me a hug and I smelt him and I was like, ooh! Oh. You got to get away from me, cause baby, it's been a long time since I felt a man. Ah! <laughs> oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. And I still feel that way about my husband, though. I'm still like after ten years. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. He gets on my nerves. I'm not gonna lie. Just, Just like any of the man. <laughs> yeah, any any partnership, friendship, mm -hmm. relationship. Like we have our moments, but he's always attracted to me. Oh, I love that. Yeah. How do you make a marriage last for 10 years? Like, what is your secret? A lot of forgiveness. Ooh. A lot of forgiveness. A lot yeah. of comprehension, understanding each other. I think the biggest thing that helped us was listening and trying to understand each other. For a long time, we were both trying to make the other person understand us, Ooh. right? Like, I need, like, babe, I need you to understand that this is why I did this. And he's like, but I need you to understand this. But when we switched it and it was more of like a, okay, I want to understand you. And he was like, I want to understand me. It Everything just flows so much better that way. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. And we're not always perfect sometimes. And I'm very, I'm a very emotional person. So, you know, I get my feelings hurt easily and... And I'm needy. Well, I'm very needy. I'm the wrong friend to have. Mm. I'm so blunt in your face with like things mm -hmm. that I say. I sometimes don't even think like that might hurt her feelings. I think I better tell her that. Like it just it comes out. Like the bluntness is just so in your face sometimes. I really gotta work on that. No, I mean and for me personally, it's okay. Like I can deal with my feelings being hurt. Like it's totally Does this fine. This dress look cute on me? Hell no. <laughs> no, that's good. Pet girl, take that off. I'm, when I, and when I, the way I am with my friendships and stuff is like, I try to love the person for who they are and not for who I want them to be oh, for me, yeah. right? Like, I want you to change that because that hurts my feelings. No, I want to understand that that's just how you are and that's how you are, so. But if I'm like an asshole, I want to know, like, if that was like me or I hurt your feelings, I don't mean to. Okay. And I want to. I want you to tell me if I ever do. Oh, I'm sure I will, because I'll start crying. <laughs> uh, and then I'll feel like such an asshole, and I'll buy you ice cream or something. Because you were a butthole, so I am gonna tell you. Yeah. We're losing men. Got a man down over here. Man down over here. Pour this on there. What you doing? I wanted to make room for his egg, but oh, sorry. Well, it's too late for that. They'll shrink up. And then we can spread them like this and do the egg in the middle. Yeah. Cool. Now we can get this out of the way. This is exciting. Is Reese gonna eat this too? I gotta make him a plate, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm so hungry. It smells so good. So what is your pet peeve with friendships that's something that like bothers you? I know I know mine off the bat, but I'll let you go you, first. Oh, me go first? I it's so hard to like make me mad. You know? I'm so chill, like You'd have to do something bad to make me mad. Yeah. You know, like really bad. Um, I have a lot of pet peeves though. I'll go. My thing that I can't stand with friendships is if you have a problem with me, tell me. Don't oh. tell somebody else. Oh yeah. Don't tell 35 other friends. Don't make indirect Facebook posts oh. and I have no idea something happened. Yep. Come and tell me, even if, you know, you, maybe being a brat about it like I want to know like tell me I'm that type of friend I know I'm not a perfect person like let me know girl stop yeah. you know don't do that and I'm like okay cool the indirect Facebook posts are so ridiculous yeah and then you like have then you've got like all these indirect Facebook posts that directed to you you had no idea the whole time but 15 people commenting on it knows about it because y'all been talking in the DMs I'm like what Sexy, steamy, smoky filter. <laughs> mm. Ooh. We're getting a facial. So now you go. I just don't know. Cause I'll, I'll say this. I don't have a lot of close friends. You know, so if you're in my home, if you're staying in my home, if like we're friends, I really trust you. Yeah. You know, I'm so picky. 
So, and I'm just guarded. I'm just that kind of person. I just, I'm so closed off and guarded that it's difficult for me to make friends. But once you're my friend, I got your back. Yeah. Through everything. Yeah, I went through some crazy stuff not too long ago. And my girl Jessica was there for me the whole time, too. Always, that, always. I that was crazy. I had really good friends that were really there for me. Yeah. I can't wait to make a video on the craziness. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lord. Some people are crazy, 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 crazy. All right, I think those vegetables are getting kind of where I like them. Yeah. Kids are being so good. Dude, our kids okay. love each other. That's stupid. It's gonna be hard when we leave. They play together so good. And yes, I did wash my hands a hundred times today. And this table is clean. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit for me. Already? Yeah. It looks good. Is that it? Yeah. Sure. And then a little bit of meat. Yeah. Can you reach? Okay. Now he needs more than that. Come on. Now. Well, we had lunch already. Oh, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a little more vegetable. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. I know some of y'all are tripping because I'm touching this food, but when I tell you Jeez. I have washed my hands because of this Bud Light virus, baby. Hey. Bud Light virus. I mean, I wash my hands anyways, but. You guys are going to see a vlog. She wouldn't open a thing at a store without a hand wipe on it. Like, I ain't playing y'all. clean. Okay, I got to go run this up to my man. Okay, we'll be right here when you get back. I'm gonna eat some. That's my toxic trait. I'm gonna eat your food. <laughs> Fun fact, Jessica is such an amazing like house host. And I'm not saying that if you guys don't do this, you're not a good house host. I've just never, like my mother-in-law is the same way too, but like she set up a whole room for me and Jaden and put like drinks in there and coffee stuff in there and like, you know, got us fruit and just like really went above and beyond. She did not have to do any of that, but like I was just like, girl, you I'm moving in. About me? I'm moving in, honey. I like my meat like medium. Yeah, I do rare. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. I'm hungry. Are you gonna move in? Is that what you told him? <gasps> move in. We get no I work love done. the show. I I miss I would miss the beach too much. Yeah, you get so sick of the snow. The cool thing about living five minutes from the beach is that like, even if I'm having a bad day or if me and Jaden just need to get away, we can just take a couple towels, um, a bag, like a reusable Winn-Dixie bag or Walmart bag or something and throw some water bottles in it and some fruit and go. That's and it's a Winn-Dixie. So nice. You don't go to Winn-Dixie? No, it's a store. Oh. Y'all don't have this here? Y'all have Publix here? Publix? No. Y'all have, um, what's that other one called? That we don't have this one, but Whole Foods? We have Whole Foods. Oh, yeah. I love Whole of Foods. Of course we have Whole Foods in the suburbs of Chicago. It's so expensive. Yeah, yeah it is. I hate going in there, because you're like, everything's organic, everything's healthy, I should probably eat this, but everything costs your whole paycheck, so. Should we uh, throw the egg one? Yeah, we're like, right. where are we putting it? Yeah. Anywhere. I'm going for it, I'm sure you're gonna do it. Woo! I need to eat this. So mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Is there a difference between brown eggs and the white eggs? Mm -mm. When like I there's no dye or chemical? No, we used to have chickens, and sometimes our chickens spit out white eggs, and sometimes they spit out brown eggs. Really? Yeah, that's interesting. I'm just trying to do it slow so it. <laughs> Didn't go everywhere like it is right now. Ooh, baby! Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. Amazing. Now we just need rice, but. Mm -hmm. Do you have a rice cooker? Oh my gosh, I couldn't live without mine. Mm. Okay, I need to pull that meat off. Okay. Ooh, that's good. Mm. 
We're gonna film more videos today. We're trying to do as many videos as we can for you guys while also enjoying our time together. Right. It's a hard balance. I'm trying to have no regrets. No regrets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that's good. Okay. Your egg? Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Food porn. Mm-hmm. See this? Cooked to perfection. On our paper plates. <laughs> I'm not trying to wash dishes. And now the video goes silent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll tell you, you know the food is good. No one's talking. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing all this, girlfriend. You're welcome. Kids are being quiet. They're being so good. We gotta do something special for them. Mm-hmm. Mm. With the egg? Oh my gosh, you guys. You need the fried egg. The cauliflower is okay. It's been better with more butter. So they closed Micah's like school. Two weeks? Mm -hmm. It's not just clothes they want us to homeschool. Like, how the hell am I supposed to do homeschool? Yeah. I'm trying to graduate myself in two weeks. Well, honestly, it's better if they do homeschool because then they don't get cut into their summer. That's what I'm afraid of. But people can't go to work because their kids are home. Mm -hmm. So this is such a nightmare for so many people. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful that I can at least work from home. You know, it doesn't affect Reese's job because I got the kids. We're just gonna have to redo the whole schedule, you know, to get Micah's work done and my work done. So I'm very, very, very grateful that I work from home. And at the same time, though, I am grateful that they're doing this because if it was to spread like it did in, let's say, Italy, then it could be devastating. Then you have all these people that are in the hospital, and if somebody gets sick from just a normal thing, there's no room for them, and it's just like a domino effect of nightmares. So, but I guess, I don't know. It's just crazy. Here's a real problem. Next week, there's not going to be any toilet paper in this house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we tried to get some from the store by my house, and the line was so long it was wrapped around the whole store. Yeah. Maybe they'll restock. Mm-hmm. We got washcloths and paper towels. I just don't know what we're going to do about toilet paper. I haven't looked personally, but I've heard, rumor is, that they took hand sanitizer off of Amazon because people were charging like $200 a bottle. How people do realize this time. Yeah, you see how selfish people can get when shit goes wrong. Um, you realize we all have to wash our hands to stop Corona, right? Like we all need supplies. Hmm. It's a weird world. It's a weird time right now. Good Lord. I will say this, us introverts have been preparing for this forever. <laughs> Ooh, I don't gotta leave the house? Word. I don't want to. <laughs> I just can't imagine what this is doing to people that are in Italy, like Italy. Mm -hmm. I know that there's other Especially countries, Italy. but in China and stuff, doing to their mental health to be quarantined in the house because solitary isolation was torture in prison. And you know, some of these people are quarantined to their house and they cannot leave. And at the same time, some of them are sick. And it's just like, that wears on your mental health so bad. And it just breaks my heart. They will have other stimulus though. So it's not as severe, but over long periods of time, that's mm -hmm. where it starts to get more serious. I could just eat these peas all day. Oh, I know, I can eat them raw too. Can you eat them raw? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing to cook? I'm talking about food in my mouth. I'm just <laughs> letting y'all know that's me. <laughs> my favorite thing to cook is probably pasta, like homemade pasta. Mm -hmm. Which I'm making tonight for you. Yay. The noodles are not gonna be homemade because I don't have a noodle roller thingy. Do you know how to make homemade noodles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's really easy. You just need the thing to roll them out with. I guess, I mean, technically I could use a rolling pin, but it's not the same. I need the noodle flat, flatty out mm -hmm. thing, technical term. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. 
So what's your favorite part of your new house? <sighs> that stone wall probably. Mm -hmm. The living room is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the kitchen is so dope. Mm -hmm. I'm also talking with food in my mouth. Even the backyard's awesome with that hill. Sometimes I wake up here and it's like, oh, I just live here. Other mornings I wake up super emotional that this mm -hmm. is my house. I could imagine. The first day I just tried to work really hard unpacking. I tried not to think about it because if I like slow down and thought about it, I'd be a bawling mess that day. So I'm like, just unpack the boxes, you know, and just focus on that or focus on doing a schoolwork because it was just incredibly emotional for me to see the girls running around this house and playing. It's just, yeah, it's emotional because I never had this growing up. You know, we always lived in the rough side of town and really small apartments and we never had the space to run around and play and just seeing my kids in this house, knowing that they're gonna be able to grow up here and make memories here and cook with me in this kitchen. In the townhouse, the kitchen was like this big. So I was always asking the girls to get out of the kitchen because I was tripping over them or we just, there was no space for them to cook. Now Riley helps me cook dinner every single night almost. You know, there wasn't a lot they could do in the townhouse to help me. So now we can set everyone up with chairs and Micah likes to cook a lot. So we're making cupcakes in this house. We're doing all kinds of stuff and we're just, we're enjoying every single minute of it. Aww. We're so grateful. Y'all just need to move in. Hmm. <laughs> move into the neighborhood at least. Mm, love the neighborhood. It's beautiful. It's so quiet. There's no sirens or anything. Mm -mm. That's new for me. There's usually sirens where I live. Yeah. I can't wait to see it at Christmas time. You're gonna have to definitely do a FaceTime tour or something. Oh, like to decorate? To see who who all decorates, even if y'all don't. I'm sure these people decorate. <laughs> we don't have to drive to the nice neighborhood to trick or treat anymore. I know, it's so <laughs> cool. Can y'all tell what my life used to be like? <laughs> I used to drive to the, the nice neighborhood on Halloween. And I'm still in a neighborhood that everybody leaves our neighborhood and goes to the <laughs> other neighborhoods to trick or treat. No shame in it. Mm -mm. We just want your kids running around a nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They get so excited, you know. They run off sometimes. Oh, that scares me to death. Yeah. My neighborhood's quiet. It's very, very small. So everybody knows everybody. Yeah, it's a cul-de-sac, right? Yeah. Or dead end road. So that's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And, um, I love my house. We're just outgrowing it. It's cozy. Mm -hmm. I like your house too. Thank you. And all those fish tank, fish tanks. Oh Lord. I love them because they're so peaceful. I want a fish tank. I'm just lazy. That's a lot of work for the bright fish. Mm -hmm. I can barely keep a goldfish alive. I couldn't do it. Jeremy does it. I'm telling you right now, I could not do it. I can't keep a plant alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. We can keep humans alive. Mm -hmm. We're pretty good at that. <laughs> Yeah. Not plants and fish. Do they get dirty really fast, the tanks? He cleans them every single week. I know. He cleans them every week, so if he didn't, yeah. But as a matter of fact, that's what he was doing this morning when I talked to him, cleaning the fish tanks. <laughs> His other wife. Mm-hmm. I beat her. Girl, mm -hmm. hold her hands. <laughs> So it's gonna take her another hour to finish her meal. Obviously she didn't have three minutes to eat in her prison like I did. I could have eaten this in three minutes. Maybe we should have an eating race. I struggled in prison to eat fast. Yeah, did they give you certain times to eat? Barely 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so my dad is really, really Italian and we eat so slow, you know, we'll just be eating, like take a bite, talk, take one bite, talk, you know, Reese, his family, they're very different, they're, they're eating, you know? So I'm like, uh -huh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and I just, I sit there and I talk and I talk and I talk. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. And if you wanna see me eat more food, that is always on my mind. So <laughs> thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Y'all don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like the video, it's free, don't cost a dime. Just a little <laughs> clickety click of the like button. Christina also has a very chill second channel just like mine. It's called Casually Christina. And of course her main channel will be linked down below. Bye you guys, see you later.